we take great pride in these parks and opportunities today, I know that our children and grandchildren should be given that very same opportunity. With only eight days remaining until the Alberta provincial election, the UCP and NDP spent most of Sunday of the May long weekend announcing more campaign promises, including an investment in tourism right here in Calgary. If re-elected, the UCP will support tourism in Alberta's largest city by working with the city of Calgary and the Calgary exhibition and stampede to build supportive infrastructure for a world-class arena and entertainment district. The leader of the Alberta NDP, Rachel Notley, was in the Edmonton area, meeting with supporters. The party also announcing an anti-Islamophobia strategy, with party members saying serious action needs to be taken following hate-motivated attacks, especially against Muslim women saying, quote, an Alberta NDP government will introduce the Anti-Racism Act and establish an anti-racism office as part of our anti-racism strategy within the first year. And while the NDP announced plans to scrap the Kananaskis Pass on Saturday, the UCP said the fee to enter the park will remain in place, citing revenue from the fee being used for trail upgrades and hiring conservation officers. We know that Albertans' primary focus and the number one thing that Albertans need to see is investment in the provincial park system. Uh, last year or two years ago, Kananaskis had one million more visitors than the busiest national park in the country, which was Banff, uh, which demonstrates just significant need to support and invest in our parks and we'll continue to do that as a government. In Calgary, Julian Code, City News.